Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a collection I picked up for $245.45. Uh, typically a store or a friend will have something and they need money for. It is at the end of the month, there are rent payments, even child support that need to be paid and rather than go to prison or have a payday loan Payday loans are like sharks. They're all over Texas where I live. I don't live in Houston, Houston. I do go to work in Houston. That's where my office is, but I live outside Houston and my neighborhood's really nice. It's on a golf course, but outside that neighborhood and we even have a water park. We have the Shell Houston open every year, which is kind of nice. We have baseball parks and soccer parks and other parks and hiking trails and I don't know if we have hiking trails, but I've seen one before, but I don't know if that's public or private. Anyway, there's a lot of payday loans out there where they just kind of take advantage of you. So rather than just have 40% APR interest or 50 or 60 or some insane amount, uh, they sell magic cards to me. I typically do not want to buy them and but sometimes you have to to help a friend. So for $245, I got two coughs. I believe these are the dual deck coughs because the regular ones are very expensive. I got two price of progress. I got uh, five price of progress. I do like the card quite a bit as a speculation. I got some snake baskets, which is nice. Some of uh, these cards, you might recognize these recent cards. Uh, this card, Intruder's Alarm, which is a lot of money. And this card, which I think is like 20 bucks for this card, which is crazy. Maybe it's more. Obviously, it's not always in the best condition. So these are from players, right? So they're not going to be near mint because they're going to be played. I got this card and this card. This card is kind of pricey. I think this is also $20. These are like kind of pricey. This is like a $20 card, I feel like, but it is low damage but it is my favorite artwork of Natural Selection. This card has gone up in price, Zombies. It's really nice to get cards that are wanted and desirable because that means they're more liquid. I know I can get rid of these anytime I want. Uh, they are in extremely high demand. I know a playset of the Swans can go anytime. Intruder Alarm is in high demand. This card is also in high demand. This one, this one has gone up a ton in price recently. So if you have any of these, realize that what you have is no longer like bulk. Scepter is very cheap. Uh, these are EDHs. Uh, so the person who's gonna buy this is gonna or trade for them is gonna trade for four because they're gonna make relentless rats. So all these cards have like different decks that people are gonna want. And then Puzzle Box and then Dark Steel Plate. So if I had to kind of estimate, I think the total value retail is probably $300 maybe, maybe less. But uh, I, it's good because it always comes back to you. So I met one of my friends, uh, Isabel and I were going to a game store in Houston and we met a friend and he was like, you're the only person who buys magic cards for cash. Most of the stores around where I live will do trades and the trades are like really, really bad. But I'll just give you cash, which is always much better because if you have cash, then you can pay your, your debts, right? And sometimes life has a lot of debts. And at the end of, so right now it's the end of July. At the end of each month, I get probably five to seven texts saying, hey, I really need money. Can you help me out? and I could be really greedy, but there's no point, right? Some of these cards I just want. I just want because I want to have liquid card binders. It's interesting because I don't trade anymore. I think these, if I had to guess, these, this is 10, this is probably like 20, 30, maybe 40, maybe that was 40. This is like 10, 50, don't know what these are, so I'm not gonna count them, 50. I think these are seven a piece, mm, 70, 80, 90, 100. This one I know is pricey. I'm not sure how much, but let's say 110, 120, 100. I think this is 20, 140. I think these are 10 each, 160. Let's count this as just um, 
160, 100. Let's go do 180. Price of progress, probably like four bucks a piece. 180, 200. Uh, these might be a little bit more, but let's just call it 10 to 10. And then these. So probably not even $300 worth of cards. I paid 245. I did get something else. I did get the a play set of Elspeths. I think uh, I traded those away almost. I traded them away essentially for a uh, into a Liliana the Veil of other stuff because I'm trying to recollect my Liliana of the Veils with the little stamp because that's really important to me that they have the little stamp. Anyway, overall, I think I did okay. Um, I'm not sure it was the best deal, but that's all he had, and this is the, the amount of money he needed. So he his electricity was not cut off, was $245.45. As long as you're fair and you work with your the person and you can get to, let's say, their goal, right? So if I gave him $200, it wouldn't really help him. But uh, I always make sure that he gets to his goal and he can have electricity. Uh, this happens, but you have to be a really good friend of mine. And you have to be an, an outside match. So there, I, there's friends that I call magic friends and they're just friends who I play magic with. I'm going to be a little more aggressive with them in terms of pricing. But then there's friends who I play magic with, who also I grab dinner with, or grab chilies, the legendary chilies, right? Uh, if you live here, like you should come visit and we'll have chilies. I know, actually, the first, the only person I've seen, the only fan I've seen uh, recently was from England. And we played in Asgard games, and it was really fun. All right, next video. Bye, guys.